They're expensive, you love them, you hate them, you're not sure, your mom probably needs one. It's top 10 unusual surgeries performed in history, part two. Number 10, belly button surgery. If you're not an innie, then you got an Audi, said a wise rapper from the trailer park living with his mama. Eminem knows what he's talking about. What is M talking about in his lyrics? Well, belly buttons, of course. I'm just kidding. No one should ever feel ashamed of their bodies. Eminem is just my favorite rapper, and he writes funny stuff. Can you blame me? I say no. But here we are talking about belly button surgery. Some folks are just insecure about that kind of stuff, and they want to change it. Which, to be fair, hey, I say if it's not going to break the bank and it's going to make you feel better, then sure, go ahead, why not? While it may seem strange to some, there is a cosmetic surgery to change your outie belly button into a finger quote more desirable any. The surgery is called umbilicoplasty, I'm sure I'm butchering that name, and it will cost you from around $2,500 to $6,500. Ooh, breaking the bank a little bit. Number 9, Eyeball Tattoo. Remember your first tattoo? You were young wild and free. Until about 11 p.m. when you lied and told your parents that you were staying over at your friend's house. The phone was barely on the hook when the tattoo artist named Xavier started revving up his needle like a redneck with a vintage pickup truck and a rusted out muffler. It seemed like a great idea. He sat through all the pain and for sure interesting dialogue Xavier had to offer, only to wonder how much it would cost to get an anchor removed from your biceps. Everyone loves anchors, I don't know why. Well, getting a tattoo might not be a surgery per se, but how about getting one on your eye? Yeah, ooh, no thanks. Like the whites of your eye. I'd say that counts. You get one on your eye for the same reasons you get one on your arm, just some folks run out of room or they're more brave than the rest of us. That's painful. Number eight, face transplant. Life is about survival. Sometimes we just make it out to tell the story. However, a lot of times it leaves us with scars, some that don't heal. For a lot of people, that's high school. The art of face transplant, skin graphing, and reconstruction is amazing to say the least. The attempts to give back what was tragically lost, well, I go more into skin graphing detail, but you two might have a hissy fit. It's actually pretty cool. However, what I want to focus on here was really the first time this was done, which was after the First World War. The veterans who returned home were beaten, battered, and a lot of them some disfigured. That's why Anna Coleman and Derwin Wood spent their time trying to reconstruct the faces of the men in the trenches. Using photographs and medical prostheses, they were pretty successful and given the time, it looked pretty good, all things considered. Crazy that we were able to come up with that so long ago. Number seven, dimples. This one is new for me. I had never thought that this would even be a thing, but at this point, and being an internet host, I don't know why I'm even surprised. It's very simple. Some folks have dimples. Some folks have dimples when they smile. And other folks don't have pronounced dimples. Oh no, what are we going to do? I, for one, didn't realize it was a sought-after look, but apparently so much so that people are willing to go under the knife just for some dimples. Hey, again, no judgment here. If it makes you happy, sure. However, if you really wanted a great smile, all you have to do is subscribe to Bumblebee for more exciting and historical humor. Plus, I'll be there, and that's all the smile and laughter you need, right? Come on, guys. <laughs> Number six, rotation plasty. You might have seen this on TLC or maybe late night scrolling through your phone on TikTok when you should have been in bed. Yes, that's right, I know. This is the surgery where your ankle becomes your knee. Having a shorter backwards leg may seem like Frankenstein science, but it's actually a bit of human ingenuity. It's a surgery that removes the femur, knee, and upper tibia. Take the ankle and attaches it to the rest of the leg, which is rotated 180 degrees. Hence, maybe we can show you a picture. I'm not sure. An editor might pull one up. Why would you need to do this? Not for fun. It's not for fun. Well, mainly because of bone tumors and cancers. However, with doing this, the person can have their prosthesis that functions much better than having the whole or most of the leg amputated. So yes, it looks strange, but it's actually very cool, helpful, and yeah, it's just sick, dude. I don't know, it's just cool. Number five, tobacco enema. Perhaps this is where the expression, don't blow smoke up my ass came from. I certainly hope it did, otherwise I'm kind of reaching here. When I saw this, I just had to add it to the list. As far as surgeries go, it's less cutting and uh, more on the invasive side, if you will. The tobacco smoke enema. Smoking was a huge part of Western European culture. Heck, it's been a part of a lot of cultures right up to the late 80s. We realized it was kind of bad. That's when we started caring. Well, in Victorian times, there was such a thing as a tobacco enema. One such event, when a woman was pulled from the water, suspected to have drowned, her husband was instructed with a pipe to perform such an operation. The thought was it would warm the patient from the inside and thus start respiration. In case of the woman, Woman of the River in 1746, it actually worked, or so the story goes. I, I don't know if I want that in my in my bum. 
I don't know. I'm gonna say no to that. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say no. Thank you. No, no smoke in my bum, please. Number four. Ook. I hope your medicine stat is above 75 because this one is straight out of Fallout or science fiction. Sports fans, here we go. The osteodonto keratoprothesis is a vision repair surgery that requires the use of your eye, a cheek, and your tooth. I'm not making that up. A lamina of tissue is cut from the tooth and it is drilled in the hole and is fitted with optics. That is, that's, that just doesn't sound real. It sounds crazy. The lamina is grown in the patient's cheek for a period of months and then is implanted upon the eye. Yes, it is quite strange and yes, it's very expensive. This will relate to a point later on, trust me, but man, that's just, that's so weird. Watch out, dude. I'm growing some crazy important tissues in my cheek, bro, so I can see again, dude. Watch out. My cheeks are full of teeth, bro. Number three, piggyback heart surgery. No, this is not not heart surgery performed in the piggyback position. Well, it does sound kind of interesting and maybe kind of fun for some, I don't know. What this actually refers to is a variant of heart transplant surgery. As I'm sure you've heard, a successful transplant is when the new organ goes in, works, and is accepted by the new body. And the check doesn't bounce. <laughs> I gotta make sure the check doesn't bounce. However, it is way more complicated than I'm making it. I'm simply simplifying. So one way to help the body ease its way with new parts is to have both hearts in at the same time and slowly wane off the old one. Hence, piggybacking. That is so cool. I, I can't even. You know, folks always said I had a lot of heart, but now, now they know I've got two. Number two, head transplant. This is exactly how it sounds. I'm relating back to point four. See, I told you I'd get there. It's very science fiction, but we may be closer than you think to actually completing this. Head transplants would fix a lot of things, mainly life-altering paralysis or those who suffer from physical debilitations. In 2013, Italian doctors posed that it could be done, and after playing with enough mice to make the Pied Piper uncomfortable, it was done on cadavers, where there was some good results. What I'm getting at is, 20 years ago, we could barely send megabytes of data. So imagine what could happen 20 years from now. That head transplant, that could be a reality. That could be real for us. Then the guys from Jack don't have to worry about anything. They just get new bodies and keep making movies. Number one, my least personal favorite. Teeth sharpening. Okay, I know I've mentioned this a few times in other videos, but you gotta understand how uncomfortable this makes me. Usually done in African, Asian, and Polynesian cultures, it's where the lovely ladies of a village get their teeth whittled down to resemble that of a James Bond villain. Again, I'm not here to judge. I can't judge. Who am I to judge? However, I just don't have a great track record with the dentist. Remember how I said I was a good boy? Okay, well, but the dentist I wasn't. I had a few cavities and I had to have my wisdom teeth pulled and, well, I was there a few times. It was uncomfortable. I just can't imagine someone filing my teeth down. I was out of commission for at least two weeks after the wisdom teeth, so you have to understand how having a dude shave your teeth to make them sharp uh, makes me makes me squirm. No thank you. Okay guys, that's gonna wrap it up for me today. This has been a at-home video because I'm a little sicky poo. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe here at Bumblebee for more. And if you too want to work from home and, and, and feel better, then check out my social somewhere down below. I love you guys so much, and stay sweet my little honeybees. I'll see you soon. Yeah, bye.